Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Lion Simulator 2. In the last episode, we had given birth to a shadow cursed liver liver litter where all the boys uh, would have these dark coats and their descendants to follow would also have darkish colored coats. Or at least dark. Uh, and because we have so many cubs, only Scorch is going to be leading the hunting party this time around. Though next episode it will be Ryan and after that it will be Amber. But yeah, um... There's no official way yet to get rid of the curse. The curse is going to stay. Uh, I'll try to figure out a way of it, of getting rid of it at some point. Maybe we can try, you know, every day rolling to see if if um, the curse gets uplifted. Are the, you know, all the babies are following me. But yeah, um, we have, I believe, three, we have three girls and three boys. Echo and Knight are the two boys knights that's knight's proper name um hey don't have my cups and then we also have moonsong bright eyes and eagle eye they will gain their names pretty soon Ah, okay you're not attacking the cups at least that's pretty good right, so this is little knight he was born pretty small actually three of the cubs were actually born quite small honestly quite surprising it was like the spirit also cursed us with tininess So if we do choose Knight or Echo as the heir and, they get, and the curse gets broken, they still will have their darkish colored coats because that's how that works. Now actually what I was planning to do is invite another lioness. Now I did say that, um, you know, that we would only have at least two adult lionesses that would be able to breed, but what was, what was going to happen was that lioness was a relative of feathers. And, you know, they t he persuaded both Rain and Primrose and Amber, all three of them, to allow this lioness into the pride. And she would have been the one that, she would have been pregnant as well. We wouldn't, we would not have known who the father of the cub was. And, but in that cub, she would have also had a darkish coloration. She would have had this dark coat. And so she would have given birth to the shadow cub. But, eh, they didn't do that this time around. Who is this? This Okay, apparently Echo's level four. Good grief, child. Goodness, they grew up quite fast. I mean, Echo is one of the tall ones, so. Honestly, makes a little sense there. Man, never mind. Now he's level five. <laughs> what? Echo? How did you just do that? Hold on. What about your siblings? You're level one, Eagle Eye. Bright Eyes is level one. Moon Song is level two. I believe not yet nights. How did you get to level five, Echo? Good grief. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna tell him to stay back with um with the adults and we'll let Amber help us out because she's still young. Uh this is night. Uh we gotta pick him up so he doesn't get left behind here. You know, we could let I think Knight's gonna stick around stay at the den this time around. This is you know, this is your punishment for growing up too fast. And somehow getting to level 5 immediately. You're just going to stay there. That's your fault. Also, um, I just spent it like, I don't know, like, maybe like in a few minutes or so on, uh, for the hunt on the teamwork obby to get that, you, that, you know, item. And then they, they have the audacity to ask me for, to get that many items that many friends invited so then I just gotta stop because like there is no way I'm going to spend my time here inviting 171 friends for some crown no I'm not going to be doing that I don't have the patience to be doing that so yeah sorry but yeah I don't have the patience to do that I'll miss on that whatever but this is Eagle I believe yeah she is another one of the smaller cubs it's she, Knight, and an another one of the cups were quite small. I don't know which one of the other. I'll look here in a second to see which of the other cups was small. Don't push your sister. Don't push your little sister out of the way, Amber. Uh, who else was small? Was it Bright Eyes? It was Bright Eyes. It looks like kind of Bright Eyes is missing an eye there. <laughs> kind of looks. It looked like that for a little bit. But let's go. Oh, there's an Impala. I think we'll let Amber try this, since, you know, she's still young, 
And I believe now that she's an adult, she kind of has the speed of an adult. Yeah, she's catching up with them fairly quickly. Unlike when she was a juvenile, she was a bit slower. But now that she's an adult, she's gained speed and, um... She's gained speed and is now able to, um, help out the pride a bit. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, next episode, these guys will get their proper names, except for Knight. That's Knight's... It's going to be Knight's name, actually. Level 2 with Bright Eyes. Let's let Amber take on one of these Zebras. And then she can try to take on a Rhino. Because usually when she was taking on the Rhinos, she would have, you know, she would use the strategy of her siblings helping her out. This time, her brothers are off on their own because, you know, male lions don't stick around. The Pride. Oh, look at that. Moon Song is also level 3. So let's, she might be... I'm gonna stay back at the den too. Amber does not have her brothers with her this time. She is, she's just got a uh, scorch and well, the cubs are not, you know, the cubs are not gonna be able to help her out with other this young, so. Hopefully this, this, this guy does not, oh, there's a snake coming. Great, the snake's gonna ruin it. Oh, hope the snake is not attacking the babies. Oh, what the? You ruined it. Get out of here. Okay, we'll eat the snake. This That snake ruined our hunt, so... We're gonna let Amber try her luck again with that water buffalo over there. And we also need to sleep. Um... Let, um... I guess then Echo can eat it. Oh, never mind, you're level 5, Echo. I don't know how you did that, well... Back in the den you go, and I guess Rain can join us. <laughs> Goodness, how are these- the males are already level 5, good grief. Oh dear, and Echo's- uh... Goose is gonna stay there. Okay, we need to deposit you somewhere until I can get them back to the- Stop it! Let me eat! I'm trying to have a munch, please, just let me eat. <laughs> Okay, stop it. Let me eat my food. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll just, I'll be right back in a second once we finish eating this carcass. All right, I'll be right back. All right, back. Uh, the boys now should stay in here with their father. You know, they can learn how to be future kings of their prides with their father. I think that's fair. We're just gonna make a day real quick and then I need to organize this hunting party. Okay, Amber goes there. Uh, there. And then Moonsong needs to be removed with rain. Rain goes right there. Uh, every, okay, the hunting party's been settled down. It's just the girls now because the boys aged up too fast. Now they got to stay with their father. And hey, I guess it's, you know, it's fun. You know, they get to, they get advice from their father. You know, this is like the second time he's uh, with Cubs since, you know. His first time with these guys, with these girls, was the, you know with Amber. Oh, there's an elephant. Okay, you know what? There's there's nobody around to mess it up. Now she can attempt to try to do this without help, since you know she's all she's got nobody else to help her really. You know she's got her, you know she's got her her mother, her. Oh, oh well, look at that! Looks like Amber doesn't really need help. She's got it all under control. We love to see growth. <laughs> Goodness. I'm having trouble. So okay, we're going to feed Eagle Eye. Yeah, she didn't even need help that time. She just took it down with one single blow. Can you all stop doing that, please? I'm trying to eat. I believe we're going to need to do... Oh, there we go. Uh, we had how many cups? Five? So we're gonna have to do two separate pulls for these heirs, actually. Why are you injured? What happened? There we go. 
Okay, it's attacking Rain. Luckily, Rain is, you know, we can't, we can't really release her. At least I don't think we can. I'm just watching her health bar go down. Okay. Okay, hold on. Can we actually release Rain? Is that something we can do? Yeah, we can't release Rain. No matter how hard I can I try to do it, she's just... We can't release her. And look at that. The girls are now going to level 3. So we actually might have these. Okay. <laughs> if these cubs reach level 5 this episode, we'll just give them their names, to be honest. Because... But again, I feel like Rain might warn them to never go to the desert because she just she she doesn't want to see she doesn't want these cubs to go through the experience that she felt of losing cubs in a sandstorm or losing her entire family to a sandstorm. I don't think she wants to go through that again. So um I mean, they can make small little trips, just not make it too long otherwise. You know, I believe, yeah, there that gets her back to full. You know, just not a long one, otherwise, you're gonna experience something you don't want to see. There's a calf. Let's get this calf. You know, something, something her size. And she can actually have a rhino hunt in peace without nothing inter intervening. Luckily, Mama Rhino does, does not care that her baby's being eaten. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of damage. And this calf is not going down easily, but there we go, it's down. And here comes everybody, because they want a piece of the meat. Ah, uh, why? You know, I might just have the cubs try hunting on their own without any lionesses with them. You could try to see how that works. Hopefully that does not mean that, you know, it's going to cause something bad to happen. I hope not. I really hope that's not the case. Oh dear, I hope that's not what happens. You know, the females can, you know, help the male patrol, you can help feather patrol his territory. And, you know, the cubs can try practicing on the hunt. They, they, you know, they, the mothers, you know, mother, their mothers and big sis over here tells them to be careful and they be careful and they can practice on a hunt hope they stay out of trouble too i'm trying to pounce on the lemur since it's possible it's just really hard to do it's so tiny Where's Moon Song? There's Moon Song. Oops. Just stay there so I can clean you. There you go. Cleaned you up, Amber. I'm trying to. I'm trying to feed this. Oh, great. Now we're going to level up by accident. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. Accident. No, actually, no, we're going to level up now because of the quest. Oh, uh, why does this happen to me? Well, there we. Hey, everybody, get up. You too. Get up. There you go. Everybody got up that time. All right, everybody, let's go. We're getting too close to the desert. I think she, uh, they might make one small trip there. Because there's no way it's going to happen again, right? Maybe that's just a one-time thing. It won't happen again, right? Right? Let's hope so. Also, goodness, these cheetahs are the size of these lions. Yeah, these, these cheetahs have probably taken the niche of leopards. Let's chase these guys away before they take one of the cubs. There you go. Um, some zebras. This one looks like a, a, a cat. A, a foal. There we go. And its mother is gone because there's no further reason to risk her life. 
I don't think he's dead. <laughs> okay, we might make a small trip. I don't, I don't think she wants the boys going over there because, you know, with darker coats, they could over, they overheat more. So, you know, hopefully nothing bad happens. Okay, pup. Okay, cubs, we're going to take a small detour into the desert. Don't worry. We're going to protect you. As you can see, everybody, this is the desert. I think, um, uh, I think, um, Rain is a little bit, is, uh, is fine with the, the, that the, the boys are not here, considering that their darker coats would cause them to overheat. We just gotta be careful of these hyenas, because they might try, they might chase down a cub. But there is a camel. I feel like Amber might be a little suspicious of this thing. She might be like, is it food? I don't know. I feel like Eagle Head might walk up to it and give it a little sniff. Give it a little chomp. It, it, it looks like it's food. It's still standing there. All menacingly. I think we might have... I think... The thing is, I just... I, the thing Rain is hoping for is that none of these cubs find their calling out here. Because then they have the deadly sandstorm to kind of like, you know, deal with. And I don't think that's a lion. That's actually a lion. He could target one of the cubs. We gotta stay away from him. But the thing is, like, she doesn't want any of the cubs to call this place their true home because she knows of the dangers that, you know, that are in this place. And she doesn't want the cubs dealing with them. Though, speaking of danger, there's a tiger here. It's two of them. I think Amber might approach this guy, you know. See if he's friendly. Okay, we're back away. Okay, yeah. Oh no, he's oh no, he's not friendly. Okay, he's attacking the, the adults. This is not good. Ah Save them! The they're not caring at all. Okay, one's down. Rain's just standing there. Girl. Girl. Alright. Okay. Somehow you're fine. Okay. Well. Yeah, okay. These tigers are not nice. She might have thought she made a friend, but uh, yet yeah, no. They're not friends. Is this a little oasis over here? I don't think I've ever seen this place before, actually. Hmm. It seems to be infested by cheetahs, though, so it's probably not a safe place. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god, I hope they're not- Okay, they're, they're both after Amber, so... They're not attacking any of the cubs, at least. I just... I just don't know. Maybe this could be Amber's place. There seems to be tons of tall prey around here, big ones at that, for her to hunt. And even though she has heard of the tales of the deadly sandstorms that she would have to deal with, maybe she could find a way to make them less, you know, less dangerous. Maybe. Maybe there's a way for her to do that. I don't know. But if there is, maybe she could find that. I don't know. So make sure. I will let, um, I think Eagle I just ate, so we'll give it to, um, Bright Eyes. But yeah, maybe, maybe this will be Amber's place if we decide to choose her as an heir. Uh, maybe this, or maybe one of the cubs, maybe one of these three. A gals, maybe this will be their place. I don't know. It is a bit open. 
and the the heat is unbearable. But maybe, just maybe, maybe they could call this place home. I don't know. There does seem to be more hyenas than usual, and that is not good for cubs. Since, you know, hyenas and... And there also seems to be more lions around here. It is, you know, hyenas and lions are not historically the best of friends, so... That's not good. Plus, there also seems to be those tigers who just decided to attack without hesitation. Song, you're about to be level five too. Goodness. Let's let's start heading back. I don't I don't I don't want I don't want the, the boys to worry about us. So let's head back. We didn't seem to run into any fennec foxes, which do which can appear here. Oh, I spoke too soon. Cause here they are. These are small little guys. They don't make up much of a meal, in fact, they'd probably be nice for, they'd probably make a, a nice meal for, um, I was learning how to hunt, actually, due to their small size. Believe Moonsong, yeah, she's level 5, so we gotta get her sister to level 5. These guys would probably make a, are probably good hunting targets for learning cubs. Maybe one of these gals are, are finding their calling out here. I don't know. But yeah, those little guys right there, a small snack that isn't much food, but it's there. It could probably help you out in a pinch. And there are the camels. A larger meal that does, you know, have its own risks. Camels are quite large and could do, could do some serious damage. Why do I only see one cub? Oh, the other two are in the ground. Okay, everybody's up here. Good. But yeah, um... The lions kill hyenas. <laughs> so that's what they do. We just kill them. Let's get the zebra, because... She does not seem to realize we're here. Oh dear. Ah, this is not what Rain wanted. Okay, I mean not Rain. Uh, Amber wanted. There we go. Um, we need to feed uh, Bright Eyes and Eagle Eye. But I think um, Bright Eyes is actually going to level up pretty soon, actually. And I think the the Runt actually might be Eagle Eyes, and she seems to be leveling up a lot slower than her sisters and brothers are so she might be the runt for this litter even though we have quite some a few lion cubs with small size um she might be the runt let's see moon song no you didn't have anything yeah um what is your quest i never accepted that um yeah, Eagle Eye, you are quite far from leveling up, so. You are, my dear. Ah! No! I'm trying to pounce. It's so hard to pounce on warhogs for some reason. Fine, we'll fight that. Come here. Yeah, 
Eagle Eye, you might be the runt of this litter, since you're leveling up a lot slower. And that's usually how I decide runs from litters. It's either their weight or how fast leveling up. Uh, if we were to go by weight, 40, 36, 28, 28, 30, it'd be, we wouldn't have a runt. But since Eagle Eye is just not leveling up fast, she's the runt of this litter. Okay, we're gonna start heading back because the it's almost time and we're actually gonna give the cubs their names probably since, you know, uh, because of the and also this impala was resting. He's the easier target. This? Yes. Okay. Almost there. And there we go. So now all of the... Oh, everybody's ready. Uh, we'll be right back. Alright, right back. I just gave all the cubs their names. Uh, this is Midnight, and this was originally Echo. He and his brother Knight look exactly the same due to their manes. Um, it'd be, it might be hard to um, differentiate them in the poll. We also have Grey Tail, a uh, pretty obvious name there. Uh, we have Acacia, and then we also have Sunstar. I, I, that's pretty nice. Also, yes, apparently uh, Midnight, Midnight is level 6. So he's quite a chonker. And you know what? Might as well show off that he's a chunker. He's a chunker boy. Alright, so now, I think the cubs are gonna, you know, practice their own hunting. We're gonna kick Amber out. I gotta reorganize this though, too. So. Uh, Knight, and Geisha, and Great Tail. Right? Yeah, okay. It's just gonna be these guys, you know, all the adults are gonna, you know, practice hunting. We were being chased? Who was after us? Hmm. I don't like that. Yeah. Uh, these, you know, everybody else is gonna uh, go ahead and, um, who is this? I think that's Amber. Okay, Amber, you can see it here then. I think, and then, you know, the cubs are gonna go off on their own little hunting expeditions. As they practice on how to hunt. I feel like Midnight and Night are going to start figuring out soon that um, their bodies are not made for this heat. As, you know, goodness. <laughs> as, um, you know, when with, with melanistic and melanism in species, uh, they tend to, those individuals tend to actually overheat in the sun due to, you know, black, uh, like, I believe it, like, gives off heat faster, so I feel like that, I feel like night and, uh, midnight are figuring out that, um, I'll just, I'll just grab a carcass, that, um, this is, they're not built for this life, uh, because, you know, it's just not for them, actually, I think instead of midnight, we're gonna name him Atlas, I think I spelled that wrong. Well, but I think they're figuring out that unlike the girls who aren't over, who are not overheating as fast, these these two are figuring out that this life might not be the best for them, as you know, they're overheating quite quickly, and they might just go to the jungle when they're older to start their own price there, you know, just to avoid overheating. I should, I should probably start in back instead. It's almost the end for the episode. Yeah, next episode with the lions will be just these four off practicing how to hunt with, well, mother, well, their mothers, father, and their big sis are all helping. We better be careful of that warthog. He's going to wreck us if we're not careful. Um, well, big sis, uh, mom, or mom, I guess not grandma, but like aunt, I suppose, and dad, the total territory. But yeah, that's going to be the end for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Turn on notifications to never miss a video. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.